Grade 2, Module 7, Lesson 10 Homework. Use the fewest number of coins to make a given value. Number 1. Tara showed 30 cents two ways. Circle the way that uses the fewest coins. While in A, she used 1, 2, 3, 4 coins to represent 30 cents. And in B, she only used 1, 2 coins to represent 30 cents. So B is where she would have used the fewest number of coins. What coins from A were changed for one coin in B? Two dimes would give me 20 cents and a nickel would give me 25 cents. So she could exchange two dimes and one nickel for one quarter. Number two, show 40 cents two ways. Use the fewest possible coins on the right below. Well, I could show 40 cents as using four dimes. But using the fewest coins, I would use a quarter that is worth 25 cents. One dime that is worth 10 cents and one nickel that is worth 5 cents. So here I use four coins, but here I only use three coins. Number three, show 55 cents two ways. Use the fewest possible coins on the right below. I could use one quarter. two dimes and two nickels to represent 55 cents or I could use two quarters and one nickel to represent 55 cents. Here I used five coins but here I only used three coins. Number four, show 60 cents, 66 cents two ways. Use the fewest possible coins on the right below. I could use two quarters at 25 cents each, three nickels at five cents each, and one penny. To use the fewest amount of coins, I could use two quarters at 25 cents. Instead of using three nickels, I can use one dime, one nickel, and one penny to get a total of 66 cents. Number five, show 80 cents two ways. Use the fewest possible coins on the right below. I could use three quarters, which would give me 75 cents, and five pennies. Which would give me 80 cents. Now when using the fewest amount of coins, I could use my three quarters. But if in, instead of using five pennies, I can use one nickel. So here I have eight coins, but here I'm only using four coins. Number six, show one dollar two ways. Use the fewest possible coins on the right below. Could use three quarters two dimes and one nickel using the fewest coins I can use four quarters to equal one dollar. Now number seven 
Tara made a mistake when asked for two ways to show 91 cents. Circle her mistake and explain what she did wrong. Well, let's see. Tara used three quarters, which gives me 75 cents, plus one dime, which gives me 85 cents, plus one nickel, which gives me 90 cents, plus one penny, gives me 91 cents. When using the fewest coins, she used nine dimes, which gives me nine, 90 cents, and one penny, which gives me one cent. But here, I'm using 10 coins total. Here, I'm using six coins. But she says that this is the fewest amount of coins and it's not. So, she does get 91 cents with each of these, but nine dimes and one penny is 10 coins. which is not the fewest amount. Three quarters, one dime, and one penny is only six coins, which is less than her 10 coins.